another round of disc golf with Conrad again at Alexander Park this time I'm not alone I have Tyler with me we are going to start on number three as before it's a par four just under 500 feet into the woods deep right and let's just see how two of us play it Tyler goes off first here Nice. I think that's one of his destroyers that he did throw like that to turn over. And just glide up into the gap. That's a perfect throw. It's a great look, uh, great place to land for either pin location that that are in the woods. There is one that's outside. And I think I went on a Blizzard boss there just to try to match him to go into the woods. He's a much better player than me, but. I do my best to keep up. He has a decent little upshot there. He has on a disc craft shirt, but he's not really sponsored by anyone. He is an open player. I think he's been playing for something like six or seven years from Mississippi. Oh man, that putt was so close. It looked good online, but just didn't have the height. Oh, air ball. That's very much not expected from Tyler, but you see he put a second one in there. But we all know the second one doesn't count. So he goes and finishes up here. All right. I think both of us walk away with a par. Hole number four is three. Par three, 237 feet. Tone of shot out into the open. And pin is in the right location. Tyler do, does a forehand, and I do my best to match him. Mine was a little low, so I didn't get the distance that he got, but uh, still made it outside, and that's always a plus. At least it gives you a look at the basket. Oh, I almost rang that one up. And he's in for a birdie. He, he was going to pick up my disc, but I said, no, I want to finish out. I want the video to look correct. All right, and I finish out with a par. Moving on to hole number five. It is a par three, 236 feet in the current location. And he was going with a typical turnover shot to get up in there, but it looks like it came out of his hand odd and it just stayed over to the left. I'm going to throw another Annie shot and see if I can uh, actually make my way up there. And went out a little too wide, but got a little lucky. And then a little unlucky too, because I got a kick off to the right. This is definitely outside of circle one, maybe, maybe even circle two. Mm. It gives it a run. And again, a low putt. So I have to come up here and tap in for a par. Tyler would do the same thing, just tap in for a par. So that has us moving on to hole six. It is a par three, 285 feet in the current location. I 
Oh, that was a big kick off off that uh, tree with the sun on over over to the right. So he hasn't even made it outside. This is my vector that I'm throwing on a hyzer, and I should have zoomed in here, but it went straight down the fairway, right into the middle of the the tree that's in the middle of the fairway, and then skipped over to the left a bit. And this was really just a shot to get out and have a, a decent look at par. So had the pin been right there, that would have been an easy tap in for birdie, but uh, now i got to deal with this canopy. And I give it a run, but not quite uh, online for it to go in. Here's Tyler now, trying to stare down this par. And he gets it. Just need to tap in for my par. Then we will advance to hole 7. Hole 7 is a par 3, so 303 feet in the current location. So again, this one is hard to record off the tee box, because the tee box is so far back. You won't really be able to see the flight of the disc if I record from down there. So both of us get out. Uh, we actually thought my shot was a little further than it was. I was just going to do a little lay up here, Solid. tap in par, and yeah, I'm a little shorter than I thought I was. I mean, we could have put money on what was going to happen there. We knew it was going to be low. All right, Tyler t tapped in too quick, so I made him reput. So that's why he has two discs in a basket. And we will move on to hole number eight. It's another par three. It's only 220, um, but it's downhill, and you got to hit this little this little gap perfectly. So that is the route that you take for an ace run, but again, the ace runs get scary because the OB comes into play so quickly. That was way too high, but luckily I got knocked down by a branch. Because had that made it past that, I probably would have been flirting with OB. And bam, too low again. You can see the out of bounds right behind Tyler. He was flirting with it, probably three or four feet inbounds. Oh, wow. He drilled it. That's a nice putt there. And not an easy one either. So we'll move on to hole nine. It's a par three, 340, but it's uphill. And again, this one gets tricky because of the wind. Um, it looks pretty calm now. I don't think there was too much wind going on. And Tyler goes with the Heiser route with one of his destroyers, I believe. He's calling for it to go left, and it, it finished a little left. I believe that was my Axiom Vanish that I threw up there. Uh, and really, we... we both should be getting past that hump without throw. Now that was an AVR 3 that I threw and I really should have put it on a little bit of ante or at least uh, aimed a little bit more to the right for it to fall into the target. Bam. Yeah, look. Tyler with another birdie. And we'll move to try to save this par. Oh, for par, I can get it in. Look at there. All right, hole number 10 is a par 3, 295 feet in the current location. And like I said, you can go hyzer straight or uh, forehand here. He, Tyler's opting for the hyzer route. It looks pretty good, and we expected to see it skip out behind the bushes, but we didn't. I throw a hyzer as well. And it, well, it looked good from the tee, but 
Uh, just a little short. Mm. So Tali hit the grass, and that's why he wasn't able to uh, advance onto the green. Have this funny little putt between the trees. Actually thought I set up the camera to, to see the entire basket, but we're going to see. I'm going to hit my spot. I got one spot on the basket today. Bam, and that's bottom right cage. Tyler taps in for his par. And I tap in for mine. Moving on to hole number 11. This is the last hole for this video. Got another video coming up with the remaining nine holes. Uh, hole number 11 is par 3, 340. Up the tunnel and then out to the left. Because I'm recording this with my phone, not able to get the, uh, the landing of the disc or even the flight of it. So it's either record us or focus on the light out there. I recorded us and we both had two good throws here. That's how circle one. Pam, he makes yep. it. And just as expected, I'm putting for birdie. And oh, wow, I made this one. <laughs> Maybe the only one all day. All right, so we'll take a look at the scorecard here. Tyler is four down on the front, and I am one down thus far through this round. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for another one.